Atten Jean's attention. All right, so this is a hair that we collaged earlier on another stream. This is a live stream, so if you hear me talking to people and you don't want to listen to our chat, just fast forward. And we're going to flood it with some watercolor tonight. And I'm going to use uh, Shinha watercolors. I'm going to use a flat brush and a number 12 round will be the main ones I'll probably use. They're the go-to ones I really like. All right. Um, I don't think I have any browns out on the canvas, really. I want to use a raw umber. And a little Van Dyke brown. And for the green, I want an olive green. And I want a purple, so I'll use violet, and now I want a purple with some, maybe some magenta on the outside, on the inside. I'm thinking more the browns, maybe a little teal, the greens. And I don't care if the color runs out into the background. some green in this area. Okay, and I think I'm going to get some magenta going in there, and I know it's going to kind of give me a brown where it meets the greens, but I'm not really worried about that.
Okay. Yeah. I'm going here with some lighter yellows. Kind of in this bib area. And let's see. some more of the pink in here maybe bring it a little brighter pink in brown with that pink. Okay, let's bring that brush and dry him. Yeah, I'm painting with my brace on. It's just really so I don't twist. The part that hurts now is right here today. Actually, I want to do something real quick before I dry all that. I'm trying to find the pink. the last one I touch probably. Oh, there it is. Second to the last. Let's try this. It's just a dry water brush. I'm just putting some magicals in some of the real wet areas. I just like that sparkle they have. Okay, I'll put the pink up. And 
wipe that off and then I'm going to get just a little bit of the green. It's the Ponderosa green. I just think it'll dry with that sparkle. And then I'm just taking and moving some of it down here. Picked up some of that pink. All right, and then I'm going to use the copper cat tail copper brown. some of that on this pink side over here kind of mixed in with that pink and then when we dry it it'll make a difference too I think we'll see it more when it's dry. I'm going to keep that to the side because I'm going to use the magicals on the background too in places, I think. All right, so let's dry it now. Okay, and then let's take a little bit, because I like how I did the pink around those. I'm going to put some pink in some of those circles in the green, and maybe even a little purple. the green more intense in the ones over here on the pink
and there's some white paint on here that was circles under the tissue. All right, I think I, I think I like that. Okay. And I'm going to take the zig markers and put in ice. This is um, mustard. And I'm going to put in just a little bit of brown. And let's come in kind of darken some of this area here. Soften that with the brush just a little bit. I think that helped. I'm going to do the same thing with the outside. And then kind of just soften it with a wet brush. Okay, and maybe come back with a dark brown. And then kind of feather that out. Trying to soften that so there's not a harsh more of a dappled or a hammered effect. Here we go. I like that better. Let me, I'm going to move the camera in too, just a little bit. And see a little bit better. Thank you, Patty. All right. I think I'll hit the brown up here. It's a little darker. And 
in here maybe a little. This, this brush has very little, uh, just damp enough to soften it. And then I think I'm going to use the redder color over here. Let me find the green that we want to use. Deep green. Darken that up there. And let's find purple, it says. Really more of a magenta color. A little bit more water in the brush on that one. And I'll put the brown on this side. And I'm going to put the magenta along next to it. Okay. All right, let's give him some black. Or his pupils. And let that dry. And I'm going to take a pit pen and just kind of hit the outside of that eye there just a little bit in brown. And I'm just going to work on the nose a little bit. And then I need to find like a brown black. It's a natural gray that would probably work. And then I'll probably come in with the, the black paint pen. Just to get that darker. little bit of pink on that brush okay I'm happy with him night Carol okay let's put all those markers up I'm going to turn him, her actually, upside down. And I'm going to get water in my brush and some 
is I want to do a purple. Wash. And I'm going to use a paper towel to kind of add some texture there. Switch brushes. Turn this back around. Okay. I'm going to put some water back on it. And I'm going to go to the Green and black and the witch ocean purple. I'm just trying to get some to drop. some places. These are just tweezers for some places. And that was the witch purple. And then I'm going to do the same thing. just got over here. That may be darker than I want. It dries really pretty though, so I don't know. It's definitely more dramatic. Less purple. I should probably close this before I knock it off.
Okay, let's dry that and see what we get. Lighten that just a little bit. I mean, put the palette up. Put the magicals up. Let's see, we don't need this anymore. I think I'm done with the watercolor. next step is going to be about getting dry enough to do the pin work. So let's start by just putting it on a paper towel. That'll help. I need to dry some more. I think it's dry enough that the pen won't. Night, Patty. Okay, so let's find number eight, number five. I don't think I need the one, but and a three. Okay. heavy line in there. To work off of. And I think I'll start, let me move the camera in just a little more. We really just need the face. Okay. Right, now I'm going to take the three.
Okay. So it adds that little personality in there. Yeah, and then I'm going to come down the bottom. And go back to the number three. And I think I'll even come in with the number one. Now we need the little highlight in there. Okay, she's got her lashes on. All right, and I'm thinking the number five. It's the three or the five. Get some of those a little heavier. Okay, let's try that other side now. That's damp still. Okay. I actually like these pins fairly well. I bought them at Tuesday morning. They're American Crafts Precision Pins. So far I haven't ruined them. But you know, it's not hard to do. She might be done. I'm going to stick a little gray in there. I'm going to take the number eight or the number five. She 
she needs some sketch lines back in here and there. And maybe a little bit more of a chocolate brown right in here. Just playing with the brown in the eye a little bit on that one. I think she's done. I think we'll name her Violet because um, it'll be like hello obvious. Let me get a mat. And we'll back the camera out and we'll put her in a mat. She'll look so cute. So that's one down and three more to go. So let's, Violet, her name is Violet. She's pretty purplicious. Here, let me tape her down. So I think she turned out cute. She's a little darker than the other ones that I've done. But when I put that Magicals over here, the Screaming Black, that, um, well, plus the papers were darker on this one. And she does have some shimmer. It's probably hard to see on camera but she's got little bits of magical. So I think she turned out pretty cute. Um, yeah, I'm more mid-tone and not so pastel-y. But I'm not a real purple fan. And, and you can see that she's just probably darker on camera than when you actually look at her. When you look at her close up, you can still see the map. And, you, and I know as she dries, you'll see some of her features too. But, so, you know, if you get up close... So, yeah, I like the little fat cheeks. I like this area right in here on it. 